how to record your online courses using Zoom. Now, I recommend for excellent online courses, if you're gonna be recording lots of them in the future, it's well worth investing in some course creation film software, such as Camtasia, which is what I'm recording this video in at the moment. A software like Camtasia enables you to remove green screens and do some really advanced video editing. However, not everyone has the budget to afford software like this. So, no problem, there are other ways of doing it, and I wanted to show you on an alternative to using video editing software, which a great one, there's many out there, but a great one is Zoom. Now Zoom is free to use, now provided your lessons are less than one hour long, which I'm sure they're going to be, Zoom's a great tool for you to use. So go and grab a free account on Zoom, and all you wanna do to record your videos is uh, go to, I'm gonna do video off, go to host a meeting with video on for you. You're gonna do video on, but uh, I'm turning mine off because I'm recording another video right now. I was doing, doing this particular instruction. So uh, I'm going to just ignore some of these settings for now. Now, what you would do is you would turn your video on. Now, I'm not gonna be able to do that because I'm already using my webcam. Now, what I would do is once I've got my video on, this is really important that you do have it on, I don't think it's gonna let me because I'm already using it, um, is this will enable you to now share your talking head as well as you can share your screen, you can share your PowerPoint slides and still have your talking head on the screen. Now, I believe that having your talking head on the camera is absolutely invaluable for your learners. It's a great way for you to have the maximum connectivity. People love to look into the eyes of the people who are talking to them and instructing them. It really has that human connection. So turn your webcam on, be brave, make sure you are well lit. I personally have my computer set up in front of a window so there's always natural light coming in on my face. And you can grab yourself um, a selfie stick, which I can't pull in front of you. Get yourself a little selfie light ring or something like that that will just turn some light onto your face. Um, now, once you've got your webcam on, you might just simply record your videos talking head style like I am right now. So that means it's just gonna be you, your head, and whatever background is up behind you. Of course, you can also create a virtual background, which I have another tutorial video on, but quite simply, you click on your video option and there is a choose a virtual background option. That's where you can just quite simply put an image up behind you and you can look like you're basically anywhere. If you wanna have that multi-millionaire office background, go for it. If you want look like you're sat on the beach, go for it. Uh, but that virtual background is great if you just wanna have a talking head video. Now, if you wanna show people how to do something on the computer, or you wanna share PowerPoint slides on your screen whilst you're presenting, um, then all you need to do is quite simply press share screen and share your screen. So um, I don't know if it's gonna let me do this while I'm recording a tutorial, yes it is. So um, all I need to do now is go and grab my PowerPoint slide. Let's pretend I'm delivering a PowerPoint slide. Um, I've pressed share my screen and you can see that it's sharing the screen because it says stop share. And simply press present. And what this will do now is put my PowerPoint slide in full screen mode. The screen's being recorded, my head is being recorded talking to you, and all you're gonna do then is talk through your slides, press next, press next, press next, you get the point. Um, now, I'm actually using video editing software to record this, which is why my head is really big on the screen right now. In Zoom, what it will record is you as a small box up in the top right-hand corner. Um, so uh, do be aware that that will be a difference when you press uh, record. Now, talking of pressing record, let me stop sharing my screen right now. What is absolutely critical is that you press the record button, <laughs> okay? The whole point of this is that you are recording your course videos. So um, I have my settings inside Zoom automatically set up to record every meeting I do automatically. So that's one thing you can do in your settings in Zoom. Um, otherwise, if you don't have that preset as a preset feature just scroll down to the bottom uh, setting areas on your zoom channel panel and uh, you have the option to record so you simply press record you press stop recording it will say do you want to stop the cloud recording yes and it will automatically save that recording either on your computer or in your zoom settings area you press end meeting, end meeting for all, and that recording will now save. So there you go, that is how you can then take that saved video and you can 
save that mp4 video into your online learning area in your online school or whether it's going to be youtube videos but it's a really fantastic way for you to on a budget record your head and or your screen and or your powerpoint slides without having any paid editing software whatsoever i really hope that helps